I gotta say, Amy, your voice, you're from Nebraska. You have this great ability, and I don't want to offend anyone here, but you have this great ability to sound like you are from Boston. Oh, thanks. Originally, you kind of sound like a lot of people uh, who first hear you without seeing you when they first get into Carmen, they say, sounds like Nicki Minaj a oh, little yeah. bit. Do, do you take that as a compliment first? Definitely. Okay, good. And yes. How do you do that? Like, you know, because you, you, you do, when you listen to the song, you know, you've got this great rap voice that sort of, it does sound a little bit like an African-American singer. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. That's that the highest compliment oh, you great. can give. Okay, because yeah. I was nervous about asking that question. Do you, uh, like, how do you do, have you done accents before? Like, are you good at it imitating? Is, you know, coming from Nebraska, it's a very neutral accent. We have a very, a, a lot of newscasters are taken from the Midwest, so yeah. I have this clean accent mm -hmm. to begin with and we spent several years in Boston yeah. so I was a city girl for yeah. a, a while yeah. um, but I grew up studying African American singers so oh, great. Brandy yeah. I mean pretty much she was a total R&B I don't yeah. think I had yeah. any white artists TLC. in my collection TLC all, yeah. all oh TLC. my gosh crazy sexy cool yeah. fan mail I mean we're uh, obsessed and rappers you know I never thought people would take me seriously for rapping but yeah. Dr. Dre got me into it and mm, then it was like Kanye West all, my whole life because it is like it, it, your songs are great not only because you know people can relate to them because you two you know met and they, now you're writing about that a lot of people you know are doing that listening to the songs except they don't have the millions of you know record sales and other stuff right. <laughs> but you know they can relate to that you've got yes that's right you've got the pop you've got the pop catchy stuff in your songs and also the rapping which people nice. love as well yes, so do you uh, Nick are you responsible for the music and it's you with the lyrics or do you both work on it the same put 50-50 into it uh, it depends it's usually both of us doing it um doing everything actually uh some there'll be some songs where i'll write a majority of the lyrics and you'll do most of the melody yeah sometimes we vice versa very um, collaborative it's kind of yeah. weird actually we have started to videotape the process because mm -hmm. i think it's very unique mm -hmm. but it starts with a beat yep. and we actually talked to kanye west about this he does uh -huh. it the same way starts with a beat yep. he goes in there with the mic just like this and starts just making gibberish up okay. like oh so there's already <laughs> yeah, great, yeah, great. and there's no words and then we spend time yeah. putting the lyrics in there that's that great sense? i yeah. love that for anyone who's right, learning to write songs at the moment and struggling just a little bit that's a great that's a great way to do it metallica get, did that can we get actually. a copy of this back so we can that was really catchy actually it's all that's great that's great you guys have an app on your phone which i wanted to check out but you left your phone in your car. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay, that's fine. I should have sent an email or something, you know, beforehand. Jeez. But um uh, auto rap is it called? Auto rap. Something oh. that like and it turns your what what you do into a rap. Yeah, because a lot of people are like, guys, I really want to rap like <laughs> you. I but it's it's not working out. I'm okay. Like, Try it in the shower first. Everything sounds good. <laughs> if not, here's auto rap. Everything sounds yeah. better in the shower. Okay, and on auto rap. And so do you use that when you write songs? Do you use any iPod, you know, <laughs> iPhone thing? While we're plugging stuff, let's just go iTunes yeah, as we well. Were... <laughs> iPhone, iTunes exactly. Do you use your iPhone when you're writing music? Yeah. We do, actually. A lot of times, I was actually just about to do it right now when we came in. If I hear a song that we're walking by and there's some part I really like about yep. it, I'll keep humming it, and then I'll hear it hum something differently. Yep. I'll just record it up. Well, let's see here. I'll bring up this little app, just like this little... Have um, we got anything in the phone recorded that might become a common song in the future that we can absolutely. listen to now? Oh, yeah. Let's listen to some. Do you, you want to hear one? Mm -hmm. Ready? This is, a, this is a beat our drummer was playing the other day. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you just rap over it. And then then the bomb with the greens the gang. But I know what the thing that the pick the kicker. Uh you gotta feel it like I do, like I feel it. Anything you wanna do, you go till you get it. Ah, I get a lot, I get a million bella. I think stuff brings to the get the phone spiller. I th so we would just yeah. groove over that and that's you know our drummer wow. and sound check. People yeah. must just be freaking out when you do that on the bus. People oh, yeah. see what are these They get really the weirded out. Yeah, they're like, what's happening over there? <laughs> She's not making any sense. And they've sense. got Cheerios and they're off their head on Pabs. What is going on? That's, that's the worst what it is. <laughs> bus ride ever. Uh, the new single, Hello, which is taken from the debut EP of the same name. Hello, they're both available now. That's right. So exciting, guys. Uh, Carmen, good luck with the engagement and the wedding. I hope it all goes well. Thank you. We do too. Thank you. Thank you so <laughs> much for coming in and eating Cheerios with me today. Thank you for having us. Anytime, man. Carmen mm -hmm. at Nova 106.9. No,